What's going on guys? This is Shrewd Sack Squad and today is Tuesday, April 13th, 2021 and this video is going to be for entertainment purposes only. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about the current stock market, how my portfolio took a big dump <laughs> uh, just like most people's and I'm going to be telling you how to handle this whole red wave that we've been seeing for like the last month or so. Uh, if you're new to the channel guys, this is Shrewd Stocks and I'm going to show you my journey to $1 million, open, transparent, there's no screen cropping out, no B yes like that you see me put my money where my mouth is and this sort of transparency you don't see anywhere else on youtube all i ask in return hit that like and subscribe button now let's get into this so guys let me just first show you here yeah this uh this portfolio took a big hit if you take a look through everything yeah it's still up for the year uh and all time 36 percent and let's take a look right here the big play i want to talk about is palantir guys palantir is we're expecting their demo day to come out in um on the 14th i guess i'm uploading this at midnight so it's gonna be the day after that um wednesday so what we can see happening here is this guys it took a big dump down and i think the cause of this was i i was reading before that they are going to be offering so palantir is going to be offering a um stock options for their employees and this is basically if you think of facebook google they, they all do this to get the top recruiters at uh these for these software engineers they got to make some lucrative offers and um part of that means get paying them with stock and i know some people were pretty upset with that when they saw um that they're paying that they're gonna it might dilute the shares and it might uh you know cause the stock price to go down but here's what i want to say you know, I, I used to uh, work in um, in engineering field, not software. I did uh, mechanical for my undergrad, and I worked for a couple of years before uh, where I am now. And let me tell you, all the software people, guys, they get uh, they get offers left and right. So if you really want to get the competitive market, if you want to get the top of the line uh, employees, you they have to make some offers like that. And me personally, I'm okay with this <laughs> because. I was just reading uh, today that Palantir is going to be getting like, I forgot the level, I think it's like level six, uh, don't quote me on it, but there's like a, one of the, so the Pentagon gives out different security ratings, okay, for where you, um, what you're allowed access to and what you can do. And Palantir is two, really two programs that they sell out. And I forgot one's Gotham and the other one's, I forgot the name of the other one, the other one's for retail uh, customers. And the thing is, this software program that they're, if they get it with that highest security clearance, guys, that's a guaranteed, effectively guaranteed product that's going to be sold to the government. Um, that Because if the government wants to work with a company, guys, they need to have security clearances. They can't just work with, if, if I open up a pizza shop tomorrow, or like let's just say tomorrow I decide, hey, you know what, I'm going to create a, a software program. I can't just walk over to the Pentagon and say, here, work with me. I'll, I'll beat out Palantir's price. No, I they need certain people with certain uh, companies with these clearances, and it's very thorough, and it's, it's very expensive to go through and do all of this work. So... Yeah, I don't know, guys. People are like freaking out over these small things with uh, with a company like this. Me personally, I bought in more on this thing today. I ended up selling out of my Wish stock, put it back into Palantir because, quite honestly, the more and more I'm reading about this company, I am liking this a, a lot. Palantir is um, is a game changer in my in my opinion. In five ten years, this is going to be up uh, much more than we can even see because, guys, th there is a there's a market here which they're dominating they're killing it and they have not gotten the recognition yet the I, the ceo of this company anytime he goes on the tv you just watch some of the interviews that he says remember what i tell you when you invest in a company guys you're investing in the ceo the manager you're investing in that person to say here's my money you can you can create more money with this than i could if i just kept it and that's what I'm saying. Do your research on it, guys. Uh, my opinion, if you want to swing trade Palantir, it's a little risky right now with this whole market. Um, I can't tell you what to do with it because I personally, in my opinion, this is a long-term thing. And th that's going to make me go to the next point, guys. Look at my portfolio. Everything took a hit. Look at the entire market. Red, red, red. Everything's red. Now, this is what I want to tell you. When you're in these times where things are red, you need to be in place that you can truly believe in. 
when I tell you guys to have a portfolio, which is going to be, you know, foundational base and then medium term base and then the, you know, smaller term plays on the top, the, there's a reason I'm telling you this, guys. It's because your foundation, that foundational stocks, okay, those are the ones that will carry you through in times like this. If you ended up putting your found, I want you to take a look at my foundation in this portfolio, guys. Neo, STPK, Palantir, MP, Skills. Is this portfolio is not like I, I keep saying this in every video, and I hate like seeing everyone get burned. This is not my entire net worth, guys. This is not my invest. I created this portfolio. So I in this whole channel just to show you guys the lessons I've learned and how you could do it. This is like a, a demo play for me, guys. I'm I'm not trying to like you know whatever brag or anything like that, but I'm just trying to tell you that this is not the thing to to mimic. My my other portfolios are are carrying. That's where a bulk of my money is. You know what I'm saying? I have money in my TD Bank account, my Charles Schwab, all of those things. I've been investing in those for years at this point. Okay. A bulk of my money is sitting in uh, Tesla, Apple, Microsoft. I've been investing in those much longer and, and Bitcoin as well. So my two cents advice for you guys, re take a look at what is in your foundational stocks. Okay, remember what I keep saying, because if you're investing in these penny stock plays, you know, I can sit here and tell you all day long, X1 is going to be a great company. They're great potential, this and that. This is there's a reason I'm not I'm telling you not to put in your foundational stocks, guys. It's because of times like this. Okay. <laughs> oh man, I, I just I hate seeing you guys get burned with, with these sort of things. Make sure your foundation is solid. If you want to go into NEO, SDPK, all of these things, consider putting them in a medium term layer of your of your portfolio. I keep telling you this, guys. If you're if you have no idea what the hell I mean with all these layers, please see my beginner investment video. I have it in one of the playlists over there. It's, it's it's I'm telling you that video right there, people did not pay t pay enough attention about because I, for whatever reason, if I don't put a big ticker symbol in the in the title, no one wants to see it, <laughs> and and believe it or not, that's where the real value is at. So, take a look at that video, understand what I mean when I say all of these things. Okay, uh, anyway, that's that's everything on that. I don't, I just I don't want to keep ranting, but I'm just trying to explain to you guys your foundational stocks need to be plays which are solid and they have a reputation to, for doing well, okay? Apple, if if you're brand new to the market, you're a beginner, you don't know a single thing, why are you going into these penny stocks, guys? Why are you investing in these stocks that are less than $5, $10? Come on, come on, like, oh man, okay. Let me see what else I have here. Uh, all right, guys, B BNGL, oh, this thing hit, remember what I was telling you in that when I made the video before? I wanted, if I was gonna make a position in BNGO, I wanted it below $7. And this would have been a really good time to buy, but I didn't have enough uh, cash because I wanted to put that in Palantir. Of the two, BNGO versus Palantir? Okay, this is a great example, guys. In a foundation, are you gonna go with Palantir or BNGO? If, if you're saying BNGO, <laughs> I'm going to be so annoyed. <laughs> Please. BNGO is not a foundational stock, guys. This is a penny stock. I don't care how great we can make it sound. I don't care how much Kathy Woods wants to invest in this thing. This is a penny stock. Okay? This is no different than CTRM in that regard. All right? You play by the same rules. If you wanted to consider BNGO in a medium-term layer, I can see the argument for it, but I personally would not even do it. But I, like I'm saying, I have a different risk to reward ratio than risk tolerance than some of you guys. So uh, that's all on that end. Let me see what else I wanted to say. If you're worried about the market, when it's gonna recover, what's about to happen, guys. If, if you're that concerned that you can't be sure of your plays, do yourself a favor. Invest in Apple, invest in Amazon, invest in uh, Microsoft, call it a day, okay? Call it a day. Because those companies, I, I've, well, this is not financial advice, but um, none of this is financial advice in the video as usual. But those stocks, you know, are going to be there in 5, 10 years. And they're going to do well. Just invest in those. Because this sort of up and down, up and down, you have to be prepared for it, guys. Please. I, I'm telling you, I've seen much worse times in my investment journey this far. All right. We can see this red for three, four, five, six months. There's been times like that, guys. And it's just up and down. It, if, who the hell knows? And so in those times, that's where I ended up learning. Dude, just sit on your hands and stop trying to do these penny plays and do this to do that. 
Okay, there's only a little bit you can do, but that's where I truly learned build a damn foundation and then you can kind of extrapolate it from there. This is the stuff I'm teaching you is I, this is not crap I read in a book. This is not something that, uh, you know, y you can read every book on investing that you can uh, that you want to buy on Amazon. This is stuff that's from real life, guys. I screwed up. I did the plays that you guys are doing where you end up in, in all these like penny stock plays and trying to ride the wave up and then sell on the dip or whatever the hell. Please, <laughs> I'm not saying this to like make myself more money. This is to save you guys like heartache, quite honestly, because some of you have a, a lot of your savings in this. So just my advice on it, guys. Uh, we expect red, you know, expect red. And if you have buying power, buy in on those plays, which are down, and then just rinse and repeat. I've been saying this for a month now, please. All right, I've been saying this for a month now. Well, I, I really think that's basically going to be everything for my video right now. The big thing I wanted to talk about was Palantir. I'm, I'm more bullish on Palantir than ever before, quite honestly. Uh, I don't know. Some people were, weren't happy with it, but yeah. Someone was asking about skills. When is skills going to be uh, coming up? I mean, I don't know the date. <laughs> what do you want me to say? June 15th? I don't know the date. Skills is going to get recognized and get their stuff together and the market and the money is going to go back into that play. I don't know the date. All right. I personally believe it will happen though. Because I've done my DD and I'm in and I'm in on this play. Did I time it wrong? Yeah, I didn't know that there was gonna be a market correction. I didn't think that this was gonna dip thirty percent of my portfolio. Okay, I I got that wrong. But you see, you cannot time everything, guys. This is the this is the thing I want to tell you. You cannot time everything. So j I just put my cash in this and I'm gonna ride the wave because did anything foundationally from the, this is what I asked myself before I ever put in my first penny into this stock. Has anything changed of the company? Is there anything that I don't like? No? Then if that's the case, why am I questioning it? Stop going by the number that you see here, guys. The number you see, 1605, that's just a number. You are investing in a company. I want you to understand that you are investing in a company, not a stock like that. You're investing, or you, you understand that there's a big difference. You're investing in the company and not the stock. So, if the company has not changed, uh, just because the stock value doesn't reflect its its net worth and what it should be, you can't like FOMO and panic because of that. All right, guys. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to give you a little like tough love on this stuff because I, I don't want to see people like uh, you know getting hurt like that. All right. Um, if you guys wanna, if you guys need any help with any of this stuff, please consider joining in on the Discord. It is uh, it is truly one of the most supportive and collaborative groups that exist out there. You will not find another Discord channel that's going to be better suited. All we ask is that you take the investment journey seriously. And we do have some fun on there. We try to um, make these times a little enjoyable because let's be real, guys. Nobody likes to see, you know, I can say this stuff all day long, but no one likes to see that. Uh, even I don't like seeing it. I'm down $4,000 a day. I'm down again the next day, down again the next day. It's rough. It's rough. Um, but, you know, that's why we have, the, we, we stick with, we, that's why we stick with each other. That's why we stay as a family. And that's how we get through it. All right, guys. So with all that said, you know what I say at the end, right? Stay happy. Stay healthy. Let's get wealthy. Take care.